Hey guys, Brandon here with Berserker Off-Road. Now, the Jeep Gladiator has this really cool thing called a bed, and Jeep has not put one of these on a vehicle in several years. And one of the cool things about the bed is you can put stuff in it and go off-road. But when you do that, you need to secure it so the gear doesn't bounce around and get messed up. Now, Jeep has what's called the Mopar Trail Rail Cargo Management System, and the name is just as superfluous as the engineering that goes into it. And I found an alternative that I think that you will be interested in. The Mopar Cargo Management System is a factory option. If you order it, in addition to the three cargo rails that go around the bed, you also get four tie downs, a locking rear under seat storage bin, a 115 volt AC outlet here in the back of the bed and a 240 amp alternator. But that's a $900 option. You can order just the rails and tie downs from aftermarket suppliers, but that's $350. I found Built Right Industries, their cargo management system is only $250. Now, a cargo management system is the foundation of managing your loads. It is a versatile piece of gear that you have in the back of your truck. For example, I have these adjustable tie downs that I can slide around the rails where I need them. My tonneau cover mounts to the rail, and then I have these brackets where on my adventure trips, I put load bars on to secure larger loads. So it really is a versatile piece of gear that I recommend anyone have in the back of their Gladiator. The bed does come with four basic anchor points down low. The Mopar rails have predetermined locking points. The mounts only secure in these incremental notches. The Mopar tie downs are beefy yet bulky and accommodate straps and rope for load securing. However, only four are included in the factory option when six would be ideal, two for each rail. The tie downs are not secure if you do not tighten them in a notch. If ordering aftermarket, often the Mopar kit is missing hardware. My gripes with this kit are, you can't put the tie downs exactly where you need them, which limits how you can secure your loads. The tie downs are bulky in an already tiny bed, and you only get four of them. However, the Mopar kit does have a clean finish and will work for pedestrian use. I'm just being fussy. The Built Right Industries cargo management system is basically custom unistrut that is pre-drilled and powder coated to fit the inside of the bed. Now the holes, they line up with existing mounting brackets in the bed and it fits nicely inside the interior with the pre-cut pieces fitting exactly in the right spot. The kit comes with three pre-cut powder coated rails, branded end caps, they're cute but you don't see them when installed, and a bag of cylindrical inclined planes. The rails have pre-drilled holes that line up with mounts in the bed and is a major benefit over using standard Unistrut. Before installing, I scuffed and sprayed mine with bed liner for extra durability and to match my bed. These will be contact points with loads after all. A common complaint with this kit is the factory mounting holes are often filled with bed liner from the factory spray. I covered mine with bolts before the bed was sprayed after the fact, so ha! Any monkey with a wrench can install these. Even my eight-year-old could if he wasn't playing Fortnite. I have no affiliation with Built Right Industries and this is not a sponsored video. I'm merely a fan of their product and wanted to share it with you. By the way, installing these is a killer forearm workout. When you're finished, you'll look like you have baseballs under your skin. They're stout enough for you mechanophiliacs. The kit does not come with tie downs or attachment points. You're on your own there. I made anchor pacifiers. They're made of a cone nut, rubber fender washer, two washers, and an eye bolt. Simply insert the cone nut into the channel and twist into place. The anchors are stout and quick to adjust and slide to where I need them depending on my load. The rubber keeps the anchor from sliding or gouging the coating. The larger washer spreads the load and the smaller washer gives the eye bolt a surface to rotate against. If I need more mounts, I go to my local hardware store instead of buying proprietary Mopar bits.
Built-Right does offer a range of mounting panels and bags that attach to their system for securing items of various size. These also work with the Mopar rails. The cargo rails from Built-Right Industries is just custom unistrut, except the holes are pre-drilled to fill the mounting holes in the bed, it's cut to length to fit the size of the bed, and then they powder coat it. Unistrut is a versatile metal framing system commonly used in construction for lightweight structural loads. If you build your own cargo system from scratch, it'll cost you about $150. That's inclusive of the rails, mounts, and coatings. So the Built-Right Industries cargo system, who do I think it's for? I think it's perfect for guys like me that like to do things themselves, but those same projects always turn out with a bit of character because you screw something up. So sure, I could go to the hardware store and pick up a bunch of slabs of, of Unistrut and, and build this myself, but I, I like how this turned out. It's a lot cleaner install. You know, it's pre-cut, the holes are pre-drilled, and it's really easy to get hardware I need for the additional brackets and mounts. And I really like that. And it's not as expensive as the Mopar kit and it's more customizable. Uh, you know, look at how versatile it is. Whereas the Mopar kit, you have some you know, pre-selected holes, whereas this is just a lot cleaner and simpler. Now with your Gladiator build, if you plan on doing a full height bed rack or a topper, a tonal cover, a lot of those above the bed accessories need an anchoring point in the bed. And that is another reason to get a cargo management system. Now, yes, the Mopar kit, which kind of feels like it was designed by lawyers, can fit the bill. Or with that full do-it-yourself route with that yellow zinc coating, you can complete that metal cloak motif. Personally, I am glad I had the Built Right Industries kit. I can customize it depending on the different loads I'm doing for different trip types. Now, of course, this has all been my opinion and my experiences. Now, I invite you to share your experiences and what you think of this kit in the comments below. I'm Brandon with Berserker Off-Road. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the trail.